When you first open Homer Pro, it starts in the home screen. You can return later by clicking the Home button in the top left of the Homer window. Here you can choose the project location by clicking on the map, or by entering a location in the search box. You can enter a project name, author, and notes. The home view also includes four key inputs, the discount rate, inflation rate, maximum annual capacity shortage, and project lifetime. The system schematic is here on the left. If I haven't added any components yet, links to the introductory tour and the project wizard cover the schematic. If you are new to Homer Pro, the tour and the wizard are great ways to get started. The ribbon is organized into six tabs, load, components, resources, project, system, and help. You can model your system with the buttons in these tabs. You can add an electric load to your model with the controls in the load tab. The components tab contains the power generation and conversion components you can consider to meet your load. You can define wind, solar, and fuel resources in the resources tab. The project tab is where you can set important project-wide parameters like discount rate and feasibility constraints. You can access the Homer Pro help documentation in the help tab. You can access the tour and the wizard here as well. In the file menu, you can save your model open an existing file, or open one of the sample files included in the Homer Pro installation. The Homer interface is organized into three views, Design, Results, and Library. Thank you for watching the Homer Software's training series. We are here to help you. If you are a trial user, please contact us at support at homerenergy.com for more information on how to become a licensed user. We have additional training available for our licensed users. Visit gethomertraining.com to learn more.